Hey, good morning, everyone. It's pretty down here. It's quiet. Early morning. As you can see, there's some really nice units right here. Good morning. Um, through this right here and see um, what we can see. Are we going to use the bikes while we're down here? I don't know, I'm sure Their kayaks are way up there. How do they even get them up there? There are some nice units out here. You can live in that whole city there. And those? Alright, so let's discuss. So we're going to turn this off for a minute. No, so you can't show the, the lack of coffee. That's because I we're slept gonna, every minute I could. We're going to go down and kind of get around and take the bike trail up the other side of the beach over here. Okay. Hey, we're gonna follow you, so we're good. You can't go backwards?
Really? Wow. Hey everyone, in this scene, we have let Josh what did he say? put us in a spot that we're not going to be able to get out of. <laughs> and we're going to be stuck here for the next 20 years trying to catch a bus. It's and, uh, and, and, we, and we keep hearing it's coming, but we, we just don't know yet. So, everybody just keeps passing us by. Yeah. One after another. And we're entering the Savannah's original candy maker, established in nineteen ninety one. And actually, we've already been in here, and we have made a purchase. And uh, Devin has a whole bag of everything. <laughs> Holy moly, we should get Becky an apple. She said she misses her apples. Becky? Yeah. Who's Becky? Becky from the park. What kind of apples? She miss she misses apples. She's from North. She's oh. up, up North. So it's not caramel covered apple she's missing. No, it's just a regular. Regular. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow, they got some good stuff. You can tell by the way that Shane is kind of hiding it. Yeah. Don't you want Chocolate. Uh, Look at the red prism. Did you want some of the nail? Some more? I guess so. Uh, what is this? I already got it. Uh, I gotta get out of here. That fountain has been there since before the Civil War. 1850s, and this would have been the edge of town. This is a farm out here, farm fields and, and all. Sherman used it as a bivouac for 40,000 Union soldiers. Some of these houses were here, some weren't. Armstrong Mansion wasn't here yet, but I believe this one was. When Sherman was camped in the park, he, you can bet his officers would have been staying in these houses. The enlisted men camped, the officers just commandeered your house. And uh, all the, I guess, captains on up would have been indoors. All right, I didn't do this this morning, but it's kind of quiet and laid back. And uh, let's do a roll around the park, get some breeze on y'all. That building right in front of us there is the state headquarters 
of the Georgia Historical Society since uh, 1839. The building built 1871. Anything important in the history of Georgia is archived in there. Since right after the Civil War, the lady who built the house and gave it to the Georgia Historical Society also donated the land out of her brother-in-law's estate. Her name was Mary Telfair, and she was uh, dispensing his estate when he died suddenly, 1870. 